Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. This is your general reading for the week of June 19, 2023. Thank you guys for joining me. Okay, so Scorpio, a couple signs that may resonate with you. Okay, Aries, Gemini, and a Capricorn. Throwing it out there. First of all, let me stop and say, these are general readings. So take with you what resonates. Leave behind what does not. And if you're seeking a personal reading, it's JackieTalman.com because these are general readings. This is a high vibrational week for you. This is a week of you getting what you want. Scorpio does not come in the form that you're expecting at all. Okay. There's also more than one wish being granted here. Want to throw that out there as well. Be warned of some putting yourself into a depressed state. Um, be warned of being alone with your thoughts and thinking negatively and bringing your energy down. Uh, this takes you to a place of where you're feeling alone and empty inside. And I don't like that. I don't like that feeling for myself, let alone anyone else. You need to know that you're full of new opportunities this week. And something that you started manifesting or working on in fall, yeah, way back in fall of last year, is now coming into fruition. And it's coming into fruition the week of June 19th. So we're going to start with some oracle cards to see what we're setting up ourselves for the weekly read. All right, Scorpio, let's see what we have for you. We're going to start with the High Priestess of Water. Hello, Tamara, and welcome. Okay, and we have beauty. Someone thinks you're beautiful. Some of you are changing up your looks or your appearances. You're doing something different there. New clothes, new outfits, new hairstyles. You're doing something different. Honesty. Spilling the tea. Someone's going to give you honesty. They're going to give you the truth, and this is the truth that you've been waiting to hear. You feel trapped. You feel like you're in a bird cage. Uh, you're waiting for your freedom. Mm. Shady person. This is deceit. Someone not being totally honest with you. Your self worth. Someone has really worked on your self esteem and your self worth. And it's now it's time for you to work on this. Look in the mirror, dust yourself off, and keep rolling. You need to get off this hamster wheel. Something has you going in circles. Do the same thing. You get the same result. Time to get off the wheel. Look, I like your playful energy. You're ready. You know what I'm talking about. You're ready for this change. Because this is total chaos. Look at the world went around you. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. And there is a message. A message is coming into you. Something you don't see coming, coming in out the clear blue. All right, Scorpio, let's get into your reading and see what we have for you. All righty, Scorpio. I cannot believe you cannot hear the waves in the background. It's, it's louder than the music was. That's why I was wondering. They're fussing about it again this morning. So, yeah. Now we have the Five of Wands. So Scorpio comes in with, there's some drama. This is drama on the home front. This is drama with the friends. Ugh. Smudge the location and keep moving forward. Don't comment. Don't get involved. It's going to get be brief and passing. Okay. With that, you guys have the five of swords. Because of this drama, you're very guarded and defensive. And I can't say that I blame you. You're waiting for it to pass through. You're waiting for this energy to clear. We have the Eight of Pentacles, okay? And the Eight of Pentacles is talking about new money. Money in addition to. This could be from a second job. This could be from a side hustle. This could be the, from the sale of an item and whatever reason, jet ski and boat comes to mind, okay? So I want to throw that out there as well. We have the Nine of Cups. Beautiful energy. Nine of Cups comes in with total and complete wish fulfillment. It's not just wish fulfillment. It's something you don't see coming. 
I there's football here, football game, football player. We're out of football season, but it has something to do with football. Okay. We have in the center of the reading a large offer of love. Could be a cancer that comes in with this offer, but this is someone that's coming in to offer you stability. They want to offer you the world. Two of Pentacles says if you've been juggling financially, this is an indication that there's new money coming into play, something coming in to save you. Those days are almost over. All right, let's see what else we have here. Ooh, the Knight of Swords. Quick moving energy is going to come rushing in. Could be a quick moving week. What's rushing in? I love it. The High Priestess. That high priestess is rushing in and says, you are grounded. You are centered. Trust your own judgment. Trust where you're being led. And with that, we have the seven of wands. You know, I call this your Zen card. This says that your journey inward is now paying off. Um, you're doing things right. Be able to reward yourself some reason, a redhead, what they call them, the gingers, is going to be significant to you this week. Alrighty. Moving forward, we have the King of Pentacles, Gemini Energy. This is financial stability at its fullest, fullest and it shows me that you're going to be able to, to spoil some children or take care of some children or do something with these children. Uh, and specifically Disney. Some of you getting ready to go to Disney. We have the Four of Swords coming into play. This is talking about the calm before the storm. This says get the rest that you need while you can. Because it is just that is the calm before the storm. We have the Knight of Cups coming in. The Knight of Cups comes in with that unexpected offer of love. Really want to throw out that word unexpected. Okay. So for my singles, you've got options. King of Swords, Libra Energy. Someone with a little bit of a sharp tongue. I don't see a confrontation, but you do need to know that that is there. I uh, also see a uh, transformation and change. This person could wear a uniform. Uh, may resonate with you. And also I see the number three. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So there is absolutely a power couple here at play. I could be very well looking at two successful business owners or someone that's partnering up in business, but I do see two pa a power couple here. Okay. That Aquarius may or may not resonate. The three of wands, you're waiting on your ship to come in. Then making coffee. Girl, I'm just finishing like a half a pot. Three of wands says... Waiting on your ship to come in. It's like you can see it, but it has not reached the dock yet. Seven of Cups. Remember, it's quick moving energy and a quick moving week. This is telling you to slow down. And the reason it's telling you to slow down, you've got options. You've got options in many areas. So I'm going to need you to slow down and think things through. No rushing through because there's a couple of power moves you're about to make. We have the star coming in with the wish fulfillment. It's also telling you any delays that occur this week of the 19th are just in your favor. And with that, we have the Eight of Swords. No one will hold you back but you this week. And I really want to stress this to you, Scorpio, because you can self-sabotage very, very easily. All right. Center of the reading bonus. Nine of Swords. Something here is causing you a loss of sleep. Get out your head. You are way, way, way overthinking things. Way overthinking things. Okay? The Hermit says, you're going to feel bajiggity. That means you're going to feel like a cat on a hot tin roof. You are anxious, excited, and overwhelmed. This is why you're losing sleep. But bottom line, that Hermit says you're on the right path doing what you're supposed to be doing for the time being. Justice will be served. Something is coming in to restore your financial balance. Some of you, these is court cases that you're going to win. Some of you going to court or a legal document you're going to sign. And some of you, this is going to be a large lease indoor purchase that you're going to be thrilled about. So, 
that's what I have for my Scorpios. Thank you guys for watching. Hey, don't forget your monthly video is up too. So incorporate the two and you're going to have a pretty powerful read. JackieTomlin.com for personal readings. You guys have a wonderful day. Logging off, coming right back. Sagittarius is up next. Cross watchers are welcome. See you there.